what can we expect when we start using flower essences? Are there physical changes, emotional changes? Flower essences. I love flower essences. I love flowers. <laughs> so flower essence healing is based on subtle vibrational energy. So we as humans are out in nature. We're a part of nature. If we tune into it, we can all feel the vibrational subtle energy that comes from nature. And on a very basic level, we say, oh, we have a bouquet of flowers. They smell lovely. They look lovely. They lift our spirits. Well, the way flower essences work is they're a dilution of the actual essence of a variation of different, many different flowers. And so you would take the essence in liquid form internally over the course of about three to four weeks. So the remedy I prescribe is very individualized, again, based on whatever you're presenting with. So everybody's remedy is different. It's completely unique. And over the course of three to four weeks, you'll begin to notice a gradual, subtle change. You might start feeling like the challenges you were presenting with at the beginning aren't so important. Um, you might start noticing that your mind isn't wandering as much. But ultimately, you begin to feel more grounded and more balanced. And some people, they just come for one or two sessions, and that's fine. They're fine with that. Some people want to come on a continual basis because as you start to heal and grow, different layers open up and you're able to go deeper and deeper and deeper. So again, depending on what your particular challenges are, everyone is unique. So it will be a unique process, but it's very subtle shift in emotional equilibrium is how I would best describe it. Do you have any favorite flower essences or flowers? I do. <laughs> So I would say my top three favorite flower essences are mimulus, which is the little monkey flower. And mimulus relates to the challenge of fear. So we've all experienced fear at one time in our lives and sometimes regularly we get nervous before a presentation or we're just you know maybe even just afraid of spiders or the dark or something like that and with my own personal experience what i what happens to me when i use mimulus is i notice that it turns the fear into excitement so for instance if i'm afraid to get on that airplane i start taking mimulus maybe a few weeks before i need to fly and rather than feeling nervous or jittery i begin to feel excited so Another one that I really love is impatience. And as the name suggests, it's very good for any anxious feelings or impatience that you're experiencing. And so this could be a habit of mine. So sometimes I take impatience when I'm feeling anxious or like I wish things would move along quicker. And it really does impart a sense of calm, balance. And then I would say another one of my favorites is larch. And larch, I see this is a very common picture when I'm working with people. Oftentimes, even people who are successful experience a lack of self-confidence. Maybe it's something new they're trying, or maybe they walk into the meeting and they feel like everybody else is smarter than them. Well, what larch does is it really does impart a sense of confidence, as well as being able to express creativity, oftentimes this is useful with artists, performers, because when you're out there in front of a camera or performing or even speaking in front of people, you don't feel like you have the ability to go through with it. So the large really lets you express your creativity in a way that really is confident and open and very grounded.